Alright guys, so today's video is going to be a food adventure. We're making our way over to the central market here in Valencia, which is basically right outside our door. This is yeah, our apartment we had, door. We had views from our, our apartment window we overlooking the market. Yeah, so. so literally it's just footsteps right there. We've already been a few times to do our grocery shopping just to cook in the apartment, but we also noticed they have lots of tasty bites. So you can actually turn your visit into a meal. So that's what we're planning to do. I've even got my little grocery bag in case we see something for, I don't know, dinner, <laughs> yeah. something we just can't resist. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Let's go eat Spanish food. So before you even enter the market, if you can see over my shoulders, you have a whole bunch of little shops selling fresh produce, you know, like fruits and vegetables, but the one directly behind me, we've been visiting this one a lot. They sell candies and like dried fruits and nuts. So yeah, that's been a bit of a regular stop for us. Ooh, there's a pigeon. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna start making our way into the market and see what we can eat for lunch. So our first snack of the day is going to be a sandwich filled with jamón serrano. That means ham from the mountains, from the Sierras. Uh, so yeah, I'm just opening it up here. Look at that, a thing of beauty in the yeah. sandwich. And they oh, even wow. asked me if I wanted olive oil drizzled all over it. So I was like, yeah, go right ahead. Of course. So yeah, this is our first snack. It was only one euro. Yeah. And I'd say we're off to a great start, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would say that. One thing I love about this market is that it caters it caters to locals. Sure, you can you can go and have some high-end touristy things and there are some nicer, like more expensive places. Mm -hmm. But you can also come and get your one euro bites as well, which is wonderful. Oh, but Sam, here we go. Yeah, time for me to try this. And before I even have it, I have to say this type of arrangement where you get something like a baguette or a bun with some really nice high quality like ham slices yeah. in Spain, that is the way to go. That's like the ultimate tasty budget meal in this country. And he goes. Mm. What do you think? Really nice. The bread's fresh and the meat is, is delicious. Like, yeah. oh man. It it's really little, is. We love this ham. Flavorful and also a little bit a little bit naturally fatty. I love that. Is this how many bit Serrano. 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 Okay. Sí. Uno. Dos euros. Okay, gracias. gracias. Okay, time for yeah. our second snack here at the market. Our second tasty snack. And Ooh. this one is only two euros, so we're having yeah. serrano, serrano, serrano ham? Serrano ham. Serrano Got ham, there we go. Hamon serrano, right? With Con queso, cheese. with cheese. Con queso. And we were in such a hurry, it looks so good. We forgot to ask what kind of cheese it is. Yeah, so. we asked what kind of ham it was, but yeah. for the cheese, we were like, what is? Give so it to us. I think I'm going to try a bite. The ham first. Mm. I could eat the I could eat the ham all day long. I could just make a whole meal out of that. It's so tasty. Oh man. Oh, tastes better the more the more you chew it. I'm gonna choose. Mm. That's a soft. It's a soft cheese. It's yeah. it has it has yeah it kind of has the texture of a mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's a nice well, soft cheese. Let's save a little bit for me. Oh shall yeah, we? sure. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's an lot left, but <laughs> half a cup. Yeah. Half time a for cup. you. To, time for you to try it. I'm gonna try them both together. Yep. Some flavor combination happening. Yeah. Have it, having had them separate, they taste better together for sure. Mm. Isn't that good? This is really good. It's a good deal too. I mean, for two euros, I mean, I know. Grab a sandwich for one euro, and then maybe have some extra meat and cheese. Yeah. And you can and eat like, for three euros here. I like that it's all snack size, so yeah. you can walk around and just have little nibbles of everything. Exactly. You can just go around mm. graze and graze to your heart's content, right? Mm. So this is our third snack right here. It is called empanadilla. 
and it is filled with tuna and onion oh, and so it kind of resembles the empanadas that you find in Latin America that's right um, but yeah this is empanadita not oh, empanada how much was it? 110 110 yeah wow so I'm gonna we're break it in half we're continuing the trend of cheap snacks we're, we're, oh, yeah. we're, we're only up to 410 of spending so far oh let's zoom in on that all right it's time to dig into this Good. Looks pretty good. It's served cold, like the filling is cold. This isn't fresh out of the oven by any means. Yeah. But it's not a bad little snack. T and tuna is an interesting filling. That's not something we normally have, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like in South America, it's usually ground beef. Ground beef and Different eggs, things, and olives, yeah. yeah. Or even chicken. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's chicken. also cheese too. <laughs> mm. But yeah, pretty tasty. All right, here we go. Yeah, time, time for me to try the empanadita. Is it empanadita? No, it's double L empanadita. Ah, okay, there we go. Mm. I quite like the tuna filling. Yeah. I'm not sure if that would be for everyone. I think more people would prefer ground beef or chicken, but yeah. for me, I do like tuna. Um, yeah, I, any chance I can get to have empanadas, I always, always like it. Yeah. Especially since we've been having so many at your parents' house over the years. Yeah. It's it's like, it's become one of my favorite snacks, basically. Mm -hmm. Anytime I see it, anywhere we travel, I gotta have one. Yeah, and I should mention, they had lots of different fillings to choose from. Like, you could have beef, they also had chicken, vegetarian That's ones. That's true. We decided yeah. to get something a little different. Yeah. No. Yeah, they do. I might get. <laughs> and you know what's popular? You can get the tortilla in a sandwich. Oh, so wow. we've just ordered a slice, but sometimes yeah, they put it inside a baguette. That's right. And you eat it as a sandwich. So we're going to be trying the tortilla, and we ordered the one with chorizo, and it's yeah. served with a slice of bread. And they also gave us some aioli sauce, which I've never had with tortilla before. So this should be. Pretty good. Should this be scrumptious. Is our fourth snack. Fourth yeah. snack. We're still going strong, guys. Oh yeah. Not even close to being full yet. All right, time uh, to try uh, that. Oh yeah. And you already had a bite of I the sure chorizo did. for the for the, our Spanish version, so I am insisting that you save that other piece for me. I know it's good. Is is it good? It's wonderful. Wonderful. Especially with this sauce, it's garlicky. Yeah. I've never had the two together before. Yeah, yeah I, I've come to think of it, I haven't either. So. Yeah, usually they just serve you the slice. Yeah. Like with a piece of bread, but and all the sauce. Typically, this is, is this is this typically eaten as a snack or for breakfast? Or you know what, I've had it any time of day? breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's good all I remember time last time we were in Spain, there was one day where I ate it three times in oh, one day. I remember that. I was quite proud of that. Yeah. Wow. Sam's turn. Yes, so I get in one with the cheese a bite. Oh my gosh. And he goes. So good. I I knew we were coming here, so I purposely had a really light breakfast. So yeah. I'm hungry. Mm. Oh man. I think that's my favorite thing we've had so far at yeah. the market. Yeah. I would have to agree. That's been wonderful. Because I've been I've been craving some carbs too to go along yeah. with the meat and cheeses, and um, that hits a spot. A lot of potato in there. It's really tasty and also spicy too. I like that a lot. Alright guys, so we are trying something completely new. Apparently it's a dessert that's from Spain, super popular here, we've been told. Um, so we got three different kinds and I've just opened the first one up. This one is called Polvorón de Canela. It's cinnamon basically, right? Yeah, it's cinnamon flavored yeah. and it's kind of like an Ooh, like an almond paste, like it a looks crumbly, so crumbly. It looks almond super paste. crumbly. Uh -huh. Like you open it up and it just starts falling apart. It just melts <laughs> in your mouth. Is like, it good? It's really, really tasty. Sweet or? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Super sweet. You're gonna like this And one. do you taste the cinnamon a lot? Yeah. Yeah? Cinnamon, almond, icing sugar all around. Oh wow. But yeah, it just disintegrates. Like you can see it's all, it's yeah, all no. powdery and I've literally- a Making a crumbly mess. <laughs> I've just opened it. I've just opened them. And we got two more. What's this one? This one is 
I got one of them one was chocolate. She said almond. chocolate. I didn't grab the chocolate one. Oh, you didn't? No, because we already had these three and we didn't even know if we were going to like it. <laughs> so this one here, the bottom one, is just almond. Yeah. Um, this one is the same thing, but uh, cinnamon flavor. These, these were three euros, I believe, for the three of them. Yeah, a little over three and euros. I think I what we'll do is we'll bring we'll bring a couple back for my parents. Yeah, and yeah. this this is something else. This one is called mantecada. This is polvoron. Okay. This is mantecadas. So I'm just gonna have a little bite to see what the difference is between the two. Hopefully, without dropping any on the ground, because this just breaks apart like instantly. So mantecada, that comes from manteca, can which means it butter. So can you see it? Thank you. There we go. Yeah, it's quite similar to the other one, to be honest. Is it? It's, yeah. It also just disintegrates in your mouth. Wow. Super sweet and sugary. I think we're going to need a drink after this. But <laughs> I'm going to let you try. Try a both. Little, a little nibble. Nice. So in we go. Yeah. So now moving on to the uh, cinnamon one, and that was yeah. the one I insisted upon getting. I was yes. like, I saw the canola flavor, I'm like, gotta get that. And, and this is so like, crumbly. this is all kinds of crumbly. <laughs> we mm. really need a spoon for yeah, this, we do. to be honest. This reminds me so much of a particular type of, of Chinese, I think it was like a in Macau, almond squares. Almond cookies in Macau. Remember almond that? cookies, yeah, and they came in these like little tinfoil packs. And they're just so crumbly like this. It reminds me so much of this. But it's really nice with the cinnamon flavor. That's, yeah. that's really delicious. We're gonna have to finish this one because no. there's no way I can put that in my purse. It's gonna be a Yeah, mess. exactly. Mm. No, it's just All right, so moving on with the desserts. What did we get this moving time? On. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so full. We've had <laughs> a lot of food so far. Yeah, we have. So we are moving on to dessert. This is called palmera, although it's shaped more like a heart. Shaped than a like palm. a heart. Yeah, we noticed that. I noticed that oh, when I was opinion. walking by. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this one was one euro. We've already had a little bite, and it's kind of like a, a flaky pastry, and it's covered in sugar, like a sugar glaze on the front side of it, and then it looks a bit more dry in the back. Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, this this is probably my least favorite so far. Like it's really? okay, it's okay. Yeah. But it's just looks better than it tastes. Yeah, it's <laughs> more dry than I prefer. Um, I'm gonna let you try it. Dessert time. Here yeah. we go. Oh. Mm. Trying the palmetto. It reminds me a bit of like a maybe a, a hardened croissant a little bit with the glaze over top. Yeah. Yeah. But you're right though. It's um. It looks more impressive than it actually tastes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. I mean, like, this is, this is the worst thing we've had today. We've done pretty <laughs> it's good. It's a good day. It's been a good day. Good day for foodie. Uh, okay, the fresa y naranja, por favor. Gracias. 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 So last but not least, it is time. For a little drink. A little refreshment. A little juice. We've I've been eating a lot of savory and sweet things yeah. and I've just got a dry palate gotta, going on. Gotta wash it down. So yeah, this juice. was 150 yep. and it is an orange and strawberry juice. So let's see how it tastes. Should be a nice concoction. Mm. Refreshing and natural. All right, well that was a very fun visit to the yeah. Central Market. Very filling as well. I, I kind of thought because of the small little nibbles we were having that I, I wasn't going to get full at all, but yeah. lo and behold, near the end I was pretty full. And anyways, if you want to visit the Central Market here in Valencia, a few things you should know is that it's open from 8 to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, every day except for Sunday, so Monday yeah. through Saturday. Also, there's a lot of produce and meat. Uh, shops there. That's actually primarily what this market is for. I mean sure you can go you can find tons of places to get nibbles But still primarily it's for for produce and meat So you'll find some great places to pick up your groceries as well, and we highly recommend coming here We got our apartment right be, right right by the market yeah, basically. right across couldn't have been any closer And we came here so many times and we're gonna miss it when we leave for sure So definitely check this out when you're in Valencia